here, Scratch friends. I am back for part two of our Zoom game. Start by getting into Scratch. Make sure you have signed in and look for the My Stuff location so you can find your Zoom V3 that we started the other day. Once you click See Inside, it'll bring up your code. Yours should look just like mine. If you don't have this done, I will have a link up here in the top corner that you can use so that you can catch up and are ready to move on to this lesson. At the moment, our code will allow you to click the flag and then you can drive using the arrow keys. And because of the amazing switch costume technique, we are able to look the direction that is moving all the time. The next thing we want to do is add a cool backdrop. To do that, click on the little plus sign for the choose backdrop. And we want to find the one that's called space. When you click space, I recommend this one with the stars for what we're doing later as you make new levels you can make your own choices we are going to call this level one of our game and right now we need to make a new sprite so click on the paintbrush choice and when this sprite appears we're going to draw kind of an s grab your cool brush tool and i'm going to tell you to pick the color yellow move down in there so it looks really yellow when you've got a yellow color, make sure the saturation is nice and high. Click back here so we can draw. And we're going to draw some sort of little S shape. Try and draw yours as much like mine as you can. And we want it to be real easy for our first level. And I call it an S because you can see if you go inside it, it's an S. What we're going to do is we're going to make it so that this course has to be completed without touching the sides for our little ship. We need to close it so the ship can't cheat. And you can leave this side open so they can go anywhere once they finish. With our nifty little course completed, go back to your rocket ship and its code, and let's add the code that tells the rocket ship where to start and where to end. So first, I'm going to move the rocket ship down inside the track, and then I'm going to make it so that it always goes to that location when the broadcast start happens. So when it broadcasts start, we currently have it that it receives start, and it sets the size to 30. Now we want to set the size to 30 and make sure you've got it placed, and then you can grab the go to button, and boom, it will take it to that spot. You can test it by moving it somewhere wackadoodle, and when you hit the green flag, notice it automatically goes into that spot. You can test it again by moving it wackadoodle, hitting stop, and hitting play, and you've got the first part of our game built. We need to check to see if the ship bumps into the yellow, and we're going to do that by bringing a if then out and going to the sensing, and we want to know if it's touching a color. When you click the little picture, you can use the little eyedropper to actually sit on top of the yellow. See how it zooms in and it finds that exact yellow. So if it's touching this corner, we want to have a penalty. We're going to have it do a looks where it says something. I'm going to have mine say, ouch. And then I'm also going to have it return to this location. So if I click on my motion choice, I can grab that go to and it'll go back to that same spot and you'll have to try again. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go back to looks and I'm going to say try again. Now we need to take this block and we need to put it in our forever loop down at the bottom. So the entire time that start is clicked, the system is checking to see if we touch the yellow. If we do, it backs up and makes us try again. That's kind of silly to have it say try again forever. So let's change it so that it only says try again for a couple seconds. And I'm going to change that to one second. Remember, if you've got a part you don't want, you can click delete or right click delete it. I'm going to hit stop and start so it starts at the beginning. And let's see if I can drive through correctly. Nope, it took me back and said try again. And then boom, I'm back trying to solve the simple maze. That is how easy it is to have level one created. When you've got yours like that, make sure that you save your project. 
I'm going to click File and choose Save Now just so I don't lose it. Tomorrow, we'll add a cool end so that when you hit it, it pops up a little winning phrase. And then the final day, we'll teach you how to set Level 2. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And if you want to be the first to know when I make a new movie, click that notification bell. Have a great day. Enjoy Scratch, my friends.